Hey guys, so in my last video I talked about how we were going to do a non-stick pan bake-off to test these non-stick pans. And so today we have the red copper pan, the Pioneer Woman pan, the Cuisinart, and the Bergner. And so what we're doing is I've cooked four eggs without oil and I've only done minor just like with a spatula just kind of peeling around the edges just to let the air get out of there and just cook the egg evenly as possible without turning it or anything. And then I let them cool for a few minutes just so you can get an idea of how, you know, baked on food will stay on these pans no matter what. All right, so we are going to start first with the red copper pan. It was the first one to be done. I have my spatula here just in case an egg does not come loose. All right, let's see. Oh my gosh, look, it came off. There's like a little bit of residue. It looks like steam. We'll check that in a little bit, but look guys, it came out. I didn't even have to bring up the spatula. That's pretty impressive. Okay, so that was the Pioneer Woman Scout. As you can see, these pans were used. So these weren't like brand new off the shelf, so. Oh no, oh no. Okay, let's see if we give it a little scrape around the edge if it'll. Okay, so we did have to scrape a little bit, so it's nice points for that. It's got a little bit of stuff on there, so we'll come back to that in a little bit. Alright, now next is the quest. Move the burner scale over a little bit. So as you can see, the Cuisinart one even was burning early on. So I mean, if this comes out of here, this is a miracle. Ooh. Nope. It's staying in there. Okay. Let's see. Okay, I'm going to scrape pretty hard to get this egg out of here. Okay. The egg's loose. And there's still quite a bit of, gosh, that won't come off. Okay, so that's good. That's gonna be number one. All right, here's the bird in there. And I mean, this egg just looks perfect, guys. Look at this. All right. <gasps> There's just barely anything in there. Okay, so now we're gonna go back and compare. I've got a rag here. Now let's just see if we can just wipe off that. And that's really not anything. Look, there's a little bit of residue, but not much. So that's pretty impressive. All right. I've got the pine one. And it, you know, even though it had some of that baked on stuff, it's really coming off pretty easily. Like it's pretty beat up, guys. So I'm kind of impressed it did as well as it did. All right. And this one's still kind of wet and mushy, which is kind of. But. As you can see, I'm gonna get in here. Like, that's baked on. And it's not coming off very easily. Like, you can see where I'm having to scrape it to get off the egg, and there's still like an outline. So, that is definitely not going to win. All right, 
Now we got the burger. It had this, this little piece of egg. Oh my gosh. It wipes right out. Look. Let's see if we can just get that out of there. Do you guys see anything? Wow. Oh, it's got a piece right here. It just came right out. All right, guys, so I would give a fourth place out of these pans. It's definitely going to the Cuisinart. Just because I can still see the outline of where the egg was. And on the rest of the pans, including the Pioneer Woman, you cannot see, like, right there. You can see, like, just try it on Gunk and I'm going to scrape it off. So, it's definitely fourth place. Then I would say it's followed by Pioneer Woman, third place. It had some baked on stuff, but did come off in the end. But it had more than the other two. And finally, that means Bergener takes second. The only reason I placed it in second was just because it had a little bit more stuff on food. So it just fell right behind the red combo, which I'm just amazed because most of the time these SCN TV products really just suck. So, I mean, I'm pretty impressed. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and be sure to check back in. We might do a re-seasoning test on the Cuisinart to see if we can get its non-stick quality back, which is great, my favorite. All right, see you guys later.